Hello and welcome back to Let's Play DDO Permadeath. And I think this is part six. Still managing to uh, keep my elite streak going here. And I'm doing uh, Kerbal's new ringleader. upgraded my gear much since last time. All I've done is swapped my pet's companion collar for plastic collar and sold up some of the junk I had collected in my inventory. And that's when I find out when my pet will attack exploding barrels. difficult apart from the shaman. Yeah, the fact that you get enemies in large groups and that it's, uh, end up being quite dynamic fights because the cover is very mobile uh, makes things interesting. Jumping around and picking up the shaman uh, certainly uh, keeps you lively.
that I must reconstruction from my but it's resonance. Not very useful. mechanism sliding open in the distance.
there were two chests there and figured out that they had to be in there hiding. Hideout appears to have been sealed off deliberately. The only means of opening the gate is by brute strength alone. You can't open it. Cool. I wasn't sure if you'd be able to.
wait, I think I will make uh, the long floor. Exit. part of this quest. The exceptionally freaking dangerous part. So, um, there's no way I can tackle or fight the ogre head on. I can't risk him um, hitting me because he would probably not be out in one. I'll elite. So, I will be rushing back here and climbing up these boxes. My jump was a little better for that. boxes that you can climb on, but uh, the design has um, cut out onto those possibilities, so we have to pull into the uh, corridor outside instead these days. So 
surprising really that the designers still don't pay attention to the quest this low. Still trying to make life hard for us, I guess. Just the item to have when I'm leveling up to four. Very nice timing. Alright, I am going to go and take my level. Just doing a quick equipment check here. Alright, be right back. So I have leveled up to level 4 now. Very pleased to have done that. And I took precise shot as my bonus feat at level 4. I took uh, improved crossbow attack and... Improved crossbow attack, improved repair... And And damage boost one. There's my enhancements, and I gave my pet a bunch of enhancements to uh, mostly improving his trip skill. And I switched over to my plus three crossbow that I just picked up, and switched my pet over to a reasonable dust that I had in the back. Back to finishing off the harbour. This is one of the as you enter the sewer, garrison calls from above. Be careful one. down there. If you get the uh, main borg, you can be very dangerous. endurance as well. And I forgot to, uh, forgot to memorize the uh, spell that I uh, See a makeshift gong and a lone cobalt. So go
them since uh, the range damage is uh, actually free to apply my normal tactics to them. Normally I would um, charge through, just barrel through the enemies and uh, go straight to the trip. Having me available on the range guy, being able to just should be ideal. I probably should have taken the uh, precise shots at level 1. So, it would have been really useful to have all the way through the harbour there. Your tunnels appears less shallow. Taking precise shots, I now have to actually end up thing I'm shooting at, rather than just um, shoot in the general direction. I'll have to make sure I'm not uh, shooting at guys in the back when there are guys closer to me and more dangerous. Which is not a problem on a melee guy, it's not a problem on a ranged guy before you have precise shots, but you wouldn't be a problem afterwards. And this being permadeath, uh, any mistakes will be removed. Just while I'm playing, I'm basically playing entirely with the keyboard. I don't um, go out of mouse to use the hotbars at any time. 
and I scroll through the bars when I need to, to access some um, abilities. So my health bars are carefully structured to make sure all the combat abilities are as close to the home bar as possible, or are available on keyboard shortcuts. Potion invisibility is valuable. So I make sure that if I suddenly need lightning resistance in the fight, I can just hit me in combination. Uh, it's pretty handy. I, uh, I sell it quite a bit. Uh, at least I used to sell it quite a bit. Not so much now I'm in the guild. But uh, it's pretty easy to be able to rapidly get the uh, impulse and buffs and combat abilities without um, shifting shifting out a mouse look and messing around. Notice a dim signal crystal above a lever on the far wall. Metal grinds on metal, and ripples spread across the water. Suddenly, means he gets for a lot of fights without much damage. He does really struggle in the close quarters stuff, isn't he? Anything? Because it is quite hard to aim once they get up close. I'm going 
have to um, watch out for any quests where I uh, know there's going to be fights like that since I uh, work out what the best tactics are for this guy in these situations. out my entire resist electric. Good job I had it on, I guess. Metal grinds on metal, and ripples spread across the water. Signal crystals are placed above a metal gate. You leave the festering sewer water only to be assailed by a bold of new scent. It certainly makes it a little safer. But uh, the hide you get from him is actually really useful. Um, I fancy my chances on this guy, so kind of a pity he's not here. been unceremoniously destroyed. Right there to um, sell and prepare. 
including um, selling my old uh, repeating heavy crossbow of righteousness on the auction house, since that was a pretty nice item. Uh, the, uh, as I've said before, I don't use the auction house to buy very much, really just homes. Uh, but I do use it to sell. The guild rules don't permit you to sell above list price, uh, which is what limits you from making absurd amounts of money if you get a lucky find. Uh, but you can sell at price or below, so I sell any half decent items on the auction house to make a bit of extra money. too many times if I can spot that difference. Alright, so east side of the harbour. And these quests in some ways are kind of easy, but they are also sort of dangerous. So the uh, the various trippers in this quest, for instance, make this one um, potentially more dangerous than a lot of the uh, Cobalt content. Across the room you see an iron defender. The beast looks fierce. Descending into the basement, you hear another sound of whirring gears and a guttural. See one of Osgood's men making his way down the tunnel ahead. He hears you approach and starts running.
this earlier. You this notice that the smuggler is struggling to keep his grip on an awkward container. He must have the artifact you are. Something heavy is being ratcheted into place. You hear the rasp of stone against stone from somewhere above, as if a massive barrier is moving aside. Secret path in the welcome warehouse. Fairlane representative. Release this 
dogs, it can be a party wipe within about 30 seconds. I think I've lost characters in here. Oh, a character. That says you see characters get lost in this one. just because they run a casino. Surely that's just a businessman. above the cabinet on the northern wall of this room. A large, ugly fellow approaches with murder in his eyes. Ramsey Mormor falls to his knees and then flat on his face. His business will offend the church no longer. This one will save us much more usefully.
This is one of the quests that I normally do on the card rather than the elite. But since I have protection from energy, I figure I should be able to manage this one. The, uh, the lightning traps the enemy dangerous bit for me. Let's uh, hope I'm right. The librarian cheerfully agrees to show you his collection. He leads you below the tower, then motions you closer to speak. The air is chilly and damp. Despite this, the books seem bone dry. Magic must be at work here. The librarian scans the shelves, muttering to himself. Best wait for him to leave before trying to steal Dalsamara's books. Did that say what? I guess it did. It's not selectable anymore. The librarian has left the room. Quick, obtain the book and return to Do The librarian's voice shrieks. I know your true intentions, thief. My traps will be the end of you. Yeah, about that. Now this is one of the best moments in any part of the game. The skeletons leading out of the mist. Let's go the way I'm most likely to die first. If I'm going to die, then I might as well do it fast. Seriously, needs to stand still and not die. to uh, wipe you out if you don't have um, you don't have the uh, protection. 
protection from energy. Collectibles, um, mostly for crafting purposes on this guy. I uh, used to do some of the, some of the uh, collectible hand ins as well, but they uh, pretty much comprehensively nerfed the uh, collectible hand ins these days. You can go through the entire hull and picking up every collectible, and you'll be lucky at the end if you have enough to turn in for one gem. And that will be one that would have been useful at level 1, but since you've just done the whole harbour, it won't be useful to you at level 4. I'm uh, not quite sure what turbine was thinking. Turbine's stats on um, collectible handings, because I find it hard to believe that um, people are handing in more than once or twice per character. It's really hard to accumulate enough um, collectibles now to hand in for anything. <laughs> the old collectibles. Just spot this one, it seems. Hell of a six, yikes. Well, I didn't blow myself up. Yeah. 
that I can throw an elemental resistor, so I should be alright. This vile place. two quests left to do. This is the last one in the harbour. Scorpions are the master race of course, so this quest needs to be Skittering easy. sound beneath the floor sets your nerves on edge. Huge when I get to uh, previous in the poison. Having the uh, 
protect against magic missiles is good. And of course I'm not using a shield on this guy, so shield um boost to AC is probably handy as well. I still got pretty useful AC in these levels. Troubleshooting goggles from Corthos, and it is not good enough for doing that on the elite. Alright, I may come back once I've broken my elite streak and just do it. That is also entirely practical. <laughs> As you make your way into the sewer, you are assailed by rank smells. The slick floor is equally foul. Two crystals, dull and lifeless, flank the gates. There must be a mechanism to activate them within the tunnels. The dogs in this place are very gruesome. Because they are several powerless, of course. Thank you, I had an amusing one once where another dog 
dogs to chase us across the internet quest and go back to the party. So it's possible to lose some pieces in here. Of the ambush if I take him that way. The bodies of missing adventurers litter the floor near the lever. Lever here. Uh, that was uh, quite deliberately 
setting up the ambush there before hitting the uh, lever, of course. tactic that uh, we often use in this quest is to jump through the bars here. It's possible to squeeze through around the side of the bars. And I'm not going to do that this time. I uh, feel like the range this guy has when he's eating really need to. This is the dangerous bit.
The bodies of some of the missing adventurers litter the floor near the lever. Lever here. Perhaps it is time to rip the crystal again. First by squeezing past that um, barricade it does make it easier to get uh, conquest in this one. Oh, I did get the chest. I thought I had missed it, but I have actually got it. Okay. Mm -hmm. See the telltale sign of the moving through the sewers. Tell her what you have learned. And I'm halfway to well of life. Not bad. Thank you. 